is Google's self-driving car, this little egg-shaped thing. It's sort of like a squished down uh, Mini Cooper or maybe a, uh, a bit like a Volkswagen Beetle. You can see we have some sensors right here on the front. There's a sensor. We got a sensor right here on the side, sensor right up here on the top, and then one on the other side in the back as well. And these sensors are going to be used to, I guess, self-drive the damn thing. Also, we have backup systems on this. Um, just plenty of crazy things going on. Let's take a look at the interior because this is designed for riding and not driving. Enough room for a laptop there, maybe? I don't know. I feel like we should have more room for working. Maybe a small laptop there. The controls there in the middle. It's kind of ugly. Kind of freaking ugly, but you know. Two seats. I wonder if they'll make a four-seater version. Oh, holo, 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 holograms. This is hallusion They're over there. Hallusion. Look at what you're seeing right now is a total hallusion. So this is an interesting uh, holographic sort of display. And uh, I guess the whole idea of this, let me get back so you can see the entire unit here, because it's quite big and bulky. But it's just an interesting holographic display that's been developed mainly to put into museums and schools and that sort of thing. Uh, imagine a museum where you come in and this is showing like, oh, here's all the things that are on display, or here's something on display at a different museum that we didn't, just couldn't afford to put here. Oh, look out, look out, oh my goodness. What are you taking a picture of? What the fuck is that? This can also, uh, you know, have some learning stuff where you like bring up some stuff and say, learn this, you little bastards. Or, uh, you know, if you're doing like uh, medical or something like that, you'll have like a 3D design of a heart. And, uh, you know, you can just look at the heart and say like, hey, this is a better way to look at it because now it's 3D instead of just 2D and on a screen. And now you can see exactly where all the arteries are. And if you're doing surgery, it'll say cut here. It'd be great for people who are like a first time surgeon. They can just look at the, the, the thing and they know exactly where to cut. This is Pepper. You're going to see this in some railway stations, Dead, you know, cutting a rug like it's doing right now. This is an information robot. It's essentially, um, I mean, a tablet with lots of information stuck to its chest. So it'll, it'll head track and then be able to talk to you. And then it will volunteer information. You can ask it different questions. Uh, but it'll usually tell you, like, hey, you can ask me, you know, about these certain things. And then you can talk to it. And, uh, you know, basically just get information. But in the future, you may be able to come up to this thing, use your credit card, buy tickets, you know, get your tickets printed out, perhaps, whatever. I'm not sure how that works, but um, who knows? A lot of interesting applications, but this is just a glimpse at one of the future uh, robots that will replace, you know, someone at like an information desk or something like that. And also, it's kind of fun to talk to a robot. Another information robot, this one is Tiki. It's uh, similar to the one we looked at before, but this one has something a little different. It's uh, responsive to touch. Now, you can walk up to it, and, uh, you know, it can be programmed to do different things. Right now, it's, it's detecting my smile. So this also has touch. Yes. And um, so this could be used in a lot of different scenarios. I'm thinking, like, you know, anywhere. I mean, touch is going to be good in noisy environments, like really crowded train stations or something like that. But if you're in somewhere else that's quiet, or maybe an opera hall or something, it could say, right this way to your seat, sir, can I help you find anything? This could also be used in malls or stores or just general places like this where you could say, like, check out this new product and, you know, give you some information about it, answer some questions about it, uh, and even point to the product, direct you to the product, or if the product is not available yet, show you the product on the uh, tablet that's connected here. There's an Android tablet on there now, and it could just say, like, hey, check it out, here it is. And it can be programmed to do all sorts of different things. There's a lot of different applications. Uh, that'll uh, possibly be, I don't know, good for this Tiki bot. This is made by Eventbot, Eventbot's here in France. 